Hey, we're Sam and Kelly. Normally on this channel, you see us sharing our adventures of living and traveling full time in our van with our dog, Sonny. But today we bring you week two of our pilgrimage across Spain for our honeymoon. I think we have just come across one of the most exciting parts of the entire Camino de Santiago. This is the worst that I have felt. The forecast for the next couple of weeks of our walk is 100% rain for every single day. And today we are making a big change. Good morning guys. Today is an exciting and significant day because we are changing up our Camino a lot today. But first, let's catch you up on our last five days on the Camino. Day five on the Camino. Yesterday was probably our best day we've had on the Camino. We had a lot of fun and it didn't feel as torturous as other days have been. And then this morning we had a nice soy latte and chocolate croissant to start off our day and we're in good spirits again. Just some good old fashioned Spanish fun. I'll be honest, this is the worst that I have felt. I did not get a huge meal last night, so maybe that's the reason why, but I'm not doing great. Kelly's having some heartburn right now. It's just so beautiful regardless, but I'm definitely struggling today. It is day six on the Camino. We're feeling good, spirits are high. Let's have a great day. I think we have just come across one of the most exciting parts of the entire Camino de Santiago. Almost positive, by the way, this is it. I'm not 100%, but I'm almost positive. Oh my God. So, if I'm correct, one of these is water and one of these is wine. Water? Oh no, they're both water. I was wrong. I was so insanely wrong. Kelly, what did we just come across? The wine fountain, ready? Water to wine. Wine at 9 a.m. We got 20 kilometers to go. Two pilgrims now have commented on our faces and how like, what, how do you describe it? Like, They're like, oh, you look better now than you did earlier today. Yeah, they're like saying that we like look happier or better now or something. And we're like, what do you want us to do when we're, we're walking? Look around and be like, we're just gonna be like beaming the whole time so people don't judge. He's from Thousand Oaks. He's from yeah, our hometown. Thousand Oaks. Thousand Oaks. Woohoo, what are the chances? What is the chances? Seriously, yeah, what are the chances? Okay, so it's up, my friends. Hey. What Camino? It's been a quiet day on the Camino. We actually haven't seen that many people around us, which is the first time in seven days that we haven't had someone behind us in at least a few minutes. Just like a foggy, quiet somber day on the Camino so far. So it took seven days, but Kelly and I have finally caved and we are both have our earphones in and we are listening to some podcasts. We are pretty exhausted today and I talk a lot and I think I'm going to be annoying her if I keep talking. So I am putting on a podcast and so is Kelly and hopefully that actually makes the time go by a little bit faster. This tree is for all the countries that have visited. Oh my god. So I have been front and center of this walk for the first six and a half days. Put music in Kelly's ear for an hour. She is hauling ass. I can't even catch up to her. 
I'm struggling, she's chilling. This has now turned into a power workout for Kelly Boko. We have made it to Viana and we have a private room. Look at this place. It's got a bath, it's got a shower. We're already made, it's already a mess. Since we have a bathtub, we are gonna take advantage of it. Kelly, what's going on? We're doing some laundry. We've made this little Dr. Bronner's last us for the past two weeks in Europe. And now it's gonna wash our clothes. It is day eight on the Camino de Santiago, Camino Francis. We are in Viana and we are heading to La Grana. La Grana is going to be another little big city. It's smaller than Pamplona, but it's like Pamplona. And we only have 10 and a half kilometers today. So yesterday was 18 and today is 10 and a half. So it's essentially like a rest day for us. So we're pretty excited. Yeah, an easy short day today. Yeah. It's been such an enjoyable walk today. Probably because it's super short, but the vibes are good. Okay, we have arrived in La Grana. We're on an Airbnb and we found this place for only $50 a night. Gotta show you what it looks like. Look at this, you walk in, you got washer, amazing shower, mirror, what's up? Full kitchen, so we can cook and save money on meals. TV, lounge area, huge bed. With Kelly. Squishy bed. Squishy full-size bed. Look at our view, it's a cute cathedral. And this is one of the main cathedrals in La Grana. We actually have a lot of things that we need to figure out. We need to figure out what we're doing for the rest of the Camino. So we were planning on taking a rest day here in La Grana. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Okay, now back to today. We're gonna take you all along the town of Logroño today and explain what we are doing to change up our Camino because there's a lot of info to it. Logroño, the city that we're in, is the first big city in the wine region, La Rioja. It is in the northern part of Spain. And if you even Google it, it basically says a big city on the Camino de Santiago. So there's the church bells. It's very noisy here. Every 30 minutes, I swear, and it does not stop. And a lot of church bells. On the Camino, we found it's very hard to find breakfast that isn't just coffee and a pastry. So while we're here in a big city, I prioritized looking up places that have like a proper meal breakfast for us. And I have found one I'm super excited about. And we can actually fill our bellies on something other than a croissant today. And now we are going to rush back to our Airbnb that we're staying at because we are going on an eight hour train ride. Also, can I just say, it was very nice to have non-Spanish traditional food for breakfast because uh, there's a lack of flavor. We got nervous because locals walked by. But I don't know if we're being haters. And this is our second time in Spain. And the food just... I'm sorry. <laughs> and you would think Spain is full of flavor. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, it looks like there's like a filter on it. So while Sam packs up, I'll explain a little bit about what's going on. So we are on day eight of the Camino. We're heading towards the end of October. It's getting colder here. And the forecast for the next couple of weeks of our walk is 100% rain for every single day. Obviously like our overarching wild goal would be 500 miles, the entire Camino de Francis trek. But ultimately we thought two weeks would be perfection, the last week and the first week. We left it open for room to grow on that, but after being on eight days on the Camino and obviously having limited time and resources financially, we really want to do some European backpacking after the Camino. And I know for other people, they would be like, no, go for it, you gotta finish it. We wanted to do it our own way. We do everything in life our own way. By the way, I have never walked eight hours a day in my life. So the fact that we've already done it for eight days is kind of insane and so I'm really proud of how far we've gone. And also to piggyback on what my beautiful wife is saying, we've been so into this process that we're low key already trying to plan another one. Everyone says it's your Camino and ultimately we love travel and doing new things and we already have something booked in another country that I cannot wait to do and to show you. So I feel like a weight off my chest now that we've made a decision on how we want our Camino experience to be. Let's go. As per usual, we are running a little late. Hopefully we'll get there with enough time to like unstressfully find where we're going. It is always tricky trying to navigate public transportation in a foreign country, but unlike in Paris, we actually do know a little bit of Spanish. So hopefully that will help us out. We're going to Monforte Lemos, but our first stop is Miranda Ebro. 
ever heard of either of those places. So the information said it's the only train coming this morning. So we're just gonna follow the other people. We saw some other pilgrims that are already here. So hopefully it all works out. There was definitely four or five other pilgrims right now on this train. So this is a very common place to hop on a train to skip a big portion of the Camino de Santiago. Sick, pretty cool. Yeah. Wait, whoa. Train numero uno, commence. There's no Wi-Fi on this train, so it's just me and you, buddy. We have made it at our first stop. We have an hour wait until our next train. So we've got a big day ahead of us. How long was our delay? 30 minutes. Just traveler tings. She's here. Oh my gosh, we made it. Oh, Tessaria, Adona? <laughs> Sorry. We made it somehow. Today's journey was quite crazy. We had two trains, one bus, so we were on public transportation for over eight hours today, and it's been a 10 hour journey so far. But we are about a 15 minute walk from our albergue, and I'm feeling really excited for the next leg up the freaking Camino de Santiago. Also, albergue is closed at 10 a lot of the time. This is a private room that we booked, so hopefully we even get in. Kelly, we have made it. This is actually the cheapest private room that we stayed at. It's only 40, 45 euros, and it's literally only two minutes from the start of the Camino Trail. So it was a big one, but we're getting back on the horse tomorrow. Get on that horse, Kel. See you in the morning. Oh! Oh! Good morning, everyone. Look at her eyes. This is how we're talking to each other. Yeah, this isn't my cutest day on the Camino, let me tell you. Oh, this is my cutest day. I had no home to lay on. So it's actually a quarter past eight o'clock, but it is so dark outside because it doesn't get light until like 9 a.m. We went to bed at like half past midnight. I'm really into the quarters in the house right now. And so we're just like a bit tired this morning trying to find a coffee shop. It's another day back on the Camino. Just really slaps you right into it. That's fucking good. We got our soy milk lattes because we are obsessed with soy milk obsessed. here in Spain. I don't know why, it just makes every coffee taste so much better. Happy positive vibes for our last week on the Camino. The Camino becomes a lot more packed once you get to the town of Saria because this is the minimum amount that you need to do and get a certification of completion of the Camino. You need to do the last 100, which essentially starts in this town. I'm already out of breath because everything is uphill. So we've already seen big groups of people that it's their first day of the Camino, just full of life. And it's pretty cute to see everyone so excited to start the Camino. Feels like a new start for us because it's our last 100 miles, which might sound simple when you're watching this from home, but we still have a big truck ahead of us. This is not really, this is not like the first half. So, I don't know how many people there are. Jeez. Look at this friendly neighbor over here. Hola, Perito. Oh my god, you're an angel. Okay, something that's an unexpected big disadvantage of being on the last hundred miles and around all of these people is that before, when we were doing the beginning of the Camino, there were so many spots that I could pull off and have a little moment with nature and go pee. And it takes a couple hours to get to a village. Sometimes they don't have bathrooms. This is gonna be interesting. our first cafe stop that we finally found. And apparently you had to buy something in order to use the bathroom. Every cafe we'd been to on the Camino before this was free for pilgrims to use. Annoying. this really cute cafe that has a ton of vegan and vegetarian options. They have a fireplace. So cute! Oh, I've heard every tale, every that is so cute. 
right here. We are exactly 100 kilometers until Santiago. I'm having an ugly day. I don't know why. Weep. I just am. Weep. Sam's looking cute as shit. I mm -mm. yeah. hope you're having a great day. It is starting to rain. It is really windy. It is really cold today, ironically. Why, why is it ironic? I don't know why it's ironic. I'm just cold. And we've been walking for quite a while. We have about four and a half kilometers left until we get to the town of Puerto Marin, which will be our stop for the night. <sighs> Let's just keep pushing through. So cold, wet. So throughout the Camino, especially in the middle, which obviously we skipped, but we've come across this, where it is a left or a right, basically a split route, and you have to pick which way you want to go. They all end up in the same route. Do you want to walk near the road or away from the road? I'm freezing. I'm freezing. I can't make the call anymore. Uh. Oh my gosh, we made it. This is our longest day we've done in like since the Stella. This is the best part of the day. We got this off. Oh my gosh. Woo! And apparently it's very European to have two twin beds like Lucy and Ethel. Not like Lucy and Ethel, like Lucy and Ricky. Yeah. Sam doesn't get that joke, but if you're watching, you'll understand why that was funny. We got him just filled with sweat. That was kind of funny. We checked into our albergue through a restaurant and then the waiter brought us to a separate building for our room. Just, you never know what to expect on this Camino. The restaurants in town are about to close for siesta. It's four o'clock, they close at 4.30 and then they don't open up again till 7.30. So it's kind of like a debate in Sam and I's mind every single time, like do we have, like do we rush and not take a shower and just rush to dinner? Or do we wait another three hours for dinner so that everyone can have their damn siesta? So usually we're too lazy and we just wait till 7.30 and then we're starving until then, but it's probably what's gonna happen, am I right? Oh, I, I'm literally shaking my head, we're waiting till 7.30. Okay, so. Oh, I, oh, my feet hurt so fast. I can tell that we're already much more experienced than we were because a lot of people's first day was today and they were really struggling and really? we were like yeah. powering through. We were having the best time even though the weather was bad and all that like yeah i'm really proud of how we've how far we've come in honestly a relatively short period of time so thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy it, it would be awesome if you could leave a like and a comment below your favorite part it really supports us and makes us feel good about what we're doing if you want to support our adventures even more you can support us over on patreon we put unedited blooper footage on there we also update you guys first over there and we just really appreciate all of you watching here and we cannot wait to see you next time for my shoulder already hurts and we're like two minutes in. It's raining, pretty hard. Gotta get our rain ponchos on. It's our last day on the Camino. We are literally minutes away.